hold your god. No, an arch. No. Trust me, you got it. I will hold you. No. I am looking like a purple sausage today. You'll see it better when I stand up, but I'm full-fledged a purple sausage and I'm living for it. I'm here for it. I love a monochromatic look and I am literally head to toe purple today. I am in my fitness gear, my workout clothes, ready to do some stuff. Gallup is like wandering around up in here, doing his own thing. Oops. Gallup. <laughs> So, I am in Sophie Dossie's backyard. If you don't know who Sophie Dossie is, I don't know who you are. She was on America's Got Talent. Insert beautiful clips here of her spinning from circles and eating apples with her toes and flinging bow and arrows. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That got Gallup excited. Okay, so Sophie Dossie and I have known each other for many years now, just through the industry. We always end up at the same events and parties and whatnot, and she is the cutest stinking little thing. Oh my God, she's so sweet. I love her. And finally, we've made this happen. I'm in her backyard where she has like all this stuff, and I am, I warned her already, the absolute least flexible <laughs> person in the world. Like, she's like this flexible master wizard, and then there's me who like can't touch my toes. So this should be well, very interesting. You'll be able to do some things off. I want to hang. I told her I want to like be pulled up on the rig with the, with the loop. And I did suspension yoga for five years, and I was really good at it. So hopefully some of that so, comes back to yeah. me. Yeah. Because I, I mean, used to like hang upside down in the air with that. That's, kind of, that's similar. Molly, so, you're like, not hanging off though. Yes, I am. You're not going up there to yes, hang off. She can. She can do it. She's so let me. She can do it. Hey, she started okay. teaching herself at like, what, 11? I was 12 when I started. 12. See, mom? She was 12. You guys 12. are amazing, honestly. <laughs> no, you she's inspire amazing. me, I'm both of you. <laughs> <laughs> what made you at 12 be like, I'm going to be a contortionist? So um, I saw the contortionist online and I just thought it was really cool. So I started teaching myself at home and started like watching videos, studying them, and then yeah, teaching myself, that's and that's insane. how I So you've started. just always been flexible, obviously. Yeah, I did competitive gymnastics, and I was always more flexible than the average gymnast. Okay. And But I didn't realize, like, how flexible and unique that my flexibility back, is. Yeah, my back yeah. flexibility was until, like, I saw the contortionist and realized, oh, there's, like, a whole nether world out there. Yeah, of people with hyper-flexibility. Yeah. Well, I was saying to you, like, so many famous contortionists have this condition called EDS, which is L.O.T. I'm not good at saying it. Ehlers Downlow Syndrome, which a lot of my followers actually have, which is why I know about it. And it just causes like hyper flexibility, hyper mobility, really? stretchy. Often you will have like, there's different types of EDS, but some forms you'll have like very stretchy skin or a lot of them can like flip, like they'll be able to dislocate things really easily. Really? Hyper mobility, hyper flexibility are like some of the, the main kind of symptoms or side effects of it. Dang, that's kind of cool. So you might have it, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of other stuff that goes into it of course too yeah. but there's like multiple types and like I know one guy who has it who's like he f experiences none of the like really super challenging effects he just gets to like stretch his skin out to here oh. and like dislocate things all the time but there's, then there's other people who it's like really severe and they like are in wheelchairs because uh. if they stand up their hips will dislocate or their knees. So there's levels so there's like a lot of levels to it but yeah who knows it's who pretty knows? fascinating. Wait, you did America's Got Talent. How old are you? 14? Yeah, I was 14 and halfway through, I turned 15. And I, I became a finalist and everything. That was really fun. That's insane. And then you went back, I saw, last year, was yeah, it? Yeah, for, for the AGT Champions? Champions. Yeah, it's like they brought back all like the top acts. And, and then you did the like, the, I did loop, the, the spinning fire of spinning. death yes it's actually so crazy like i like people who can do something really unusual and do it to such an extremely high level are like fascinating <laughs> to me especially something so unusual like being like what you're 18 now right 18 yeah. being like 18 and being a pro contortionist is like the most insane thing to me and you've gotten to be on like ellen and like tv shows yeah. like nickelodeon or disney yeah i was right? on yeah i was on ellen like i think like Three or four times like on it like as a guest and then I was there I think like five or six times as like little skit stuff right no big deal just on Ellen like nine <laughs> times it's fine <laughs> ridiculous but you've done also like tv shows right like acting yeah I was, yeah i was on casey and a cover and then disney and bizarre and burton can yeah, you like walk on your hands and stuff just do yeah. like regular acrobatic -y stuff yeah can you just do it right now yeah Fair. I'm gonna teach you today. I don't think you are. <laughs> by, by the end of this day, you're gonna be able to do all of this. Right. 
I should warn you. I don't. Have you done much acrobatic stuff with a blindfold on? No, I've shot a bow and arrow with a blindfold on. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. Because when you get blindfolded, your balance goes off. Yeah. So blind people have very bad balance. So I don't know if because you have such a good sense of your own body at this point, you'll maintain your balance. But when blindfolds go on, your balance goes off. So it'll be interesting because I, yeah, I have like really bad balance. Because when you balance, you spot, right? That's yeah. how you stay balanced is you like look at one spot and hold. But if you can't do that, like a blind person can't, your balance goes off. Okay, is there such thing as being dizzy? Oh yeah. So like if you were to spin a lot, can you get dizzy? Yeah, but I'm doing it anyways. All right, well, you can okay. get back to putting up your circle and preparing this massive, apparently 30 foot rig. What do you it think, looks, Mom? It looks tired. I don't know. It just like looks so 32, 34, high. something like that. So when you did like, like when you do shows, they have to build this whole rig. Actually, when I do shows, it's normally like all building the rig to the ceiling. So my dad's like learned how to rig and stuff because of me, but he's a rigger. And like we'll at like NBA halftime shows, we'll just like rig it up in the ceiling. And so then I just like am able to like not be restricted with only this right. height. I can go even higher than oh, this height. Do you like work out outside of just practicing or is the practice your workout? Like that um, keeps you fit enough? Well, I'll go on like runs and stuff because like cardio for me is like really important, especially with contortion because like the better your cardio is, the longer you can last with like hoop and even contortion. But I'd say that's like my workout other than like training and stuff because like for doing hoop and hand bouncing, it's all like lifting your body. So I do more like lifting your body type workouts. Right, body weight workout. Yeah. Do you want to give it a try, mom? Absolutely no. You can just sit in it and then I can just pull you up. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I can do a headstand. There I can go. do that. That's that's what I have to offer this scenario. <laughs> I can do a headstand. Well, it just means I have a flat head. By the head. end of today, you'll be able to do a lot more than a headstand. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Can I swing? Yeah, go ahead. Whee! <laughs> oh my god, I can't imagine you're doing that with one hand and like spinning. Okay, I don't want you to get to like this. <laughs> Woo! That's a good start. We grab the sides. Oh yeah, or you can do that. Boom! That I'm a contortionist <laughs> acrobatic master. That was really good, actually. At the beginning, you must have gotten so many like bruises and like. Yeah. Did it take your body a while to get the, like the calluses to? Actually, I feel like. Well, I feel like a lot of people who do hoop and stuff, you get used to like the pain, and then you almost get numb to. Yeah. I get scrapes and stuff on the back of my leg, but like for me, like I'm just used to it, so it's it's not like I feel anything. Do you practice every single day? You know, lately not every single day, just because like I do like YouTube, things like that. Yeah. But a lot. Yeah. I practice a lot. Back up everyone, back up. We don't know what's gonna happen. Wee So fun! Oh my goodness, how do you not get dizzy? Okay, I think I trained myself not to get dizzy. If I spin clockwise, I actually don't get dizzy. I think I spun so much that I trained myself not to get dizzy or feel sick. So, but at first you did. You used to get dizzy. Yeah, I used to actually kind of feel sick if I would like spin that fast because I spin like super fast. Yeah. But now it's just I I don't. Can you just do a little a little show for us? Yeah. Mom's gonna freak out. I'm mainly doing this to watch my mom freak out. <laughs> What is she doing, Mom? Okay, so one foot's up in the air, and then, oh, now she's starting to really spin around, <laughs> like a lot. Gallop's even getting out of the way. He's like, ooh. Hey, going up, 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 up in the sky. Oh in this beautiful position on the, the hoop. And then just doing all sorts of fast actions. Jeez. Hey, private show, Molly. I know. Private show. Take that, Ellen. My own <laughs> private show. It's so beautiful. Woohoo! <laughs> so crazy. I don't understand how you do it. So how does the hoop go up just because it's getting tighter as you spin it? The hoop normally goes up because someone's like pulling it up or there's like a motor to make it go up. So yeah. when you're practicing, how does it go up? It doesn't? I'll normally have, it's, it's a pulley system here, so if, say, you were to sit on this, I can easily just pull you up. 
Okay. Can I sit and you can pull me up? Yeah. I love being risky. It's like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and I don't like that about I you. I love adrenaline and I love risk and I like doing things that I'm told I shouldn't. Actually, I do like that about you. What am I saying? Da, 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 da. Wow, you would not want to have a fear of heights and do this. I can tell you that. Yeah, you can't. Or like sometimes when it gets like super high, you just can't look down. Have you never been like harnessed in? Like you're always just free? Never been harnessed in. Oh dear god. I don't know how your family watches you do that without a <laughs> harness. Oh, that's terrifying. I mean, they trust me. Trust yeah, but at the me. beginning. I mean, it like slowly worked its way up there. Mom, Dad, I want to get a like a hoop no. in my backyard, 30 feet in the air, <laughs> just to practice. Actually, when I started shooting my bow and arrow, I literally just. I remember I asked my dad, can, I, can we go to the store and get a bow and arrow? And he was like, oh, why? And I was just like, oh, because I want to shoot a bow and arrow with my feet. And then he was like, okay, let's just go. Sure, sounds good. With my feet. And then I remember my mom was like, why are you shooting? Like, what are you going to do with shooting a bow and arrow with your feet? Like, where's that going to go? Where is this going to lead you? Where is this going like, to lead you? Well, let me like, tell you. Well, little do you know. <laughs> but the spinning stuff. <laughs> Wow, this is like an epic swing. <laughs> Take that school playground. Wow, it's kind of relaxing. If your butt wasn't being like... If it wasn't being like... <laughs> it's like impaled, impaled by, by a, a metal by bar, metal. it would be really relaxing. <laughs> if you were in like a hammock, yes. that'd be really nice. It's summertime, I normally put like a hammock up on here and I'll just like chill out. Yeah, that would be so nice. Nicer than this. Ooh, what should I do now? I'm not gonna crack my head, am I? No. You're high enough. Wee! <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well done. So graceful. Well done, you two. I like the way Sophie's giving Molly lots of confidence. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, right? She's like so unafraid. She's like, yeah, it's whatever. Do you want to try them up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a dress. Yay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe yeah. not. Yeah. And then climb up into that. What? Nope, not as flexible. Here, I'll hold it. It's an example right there of Molly being less flexible. And then put your leg in there. Yeah, there you go. Wee! Wee! Spin me! Spin me! <laughs> Wee! Because I can see light, I know when I'm spinning because all of a sudden, like, I see bright sun. Nothing. Bright sun. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do? I would say ring and the hand balancing canes. I call them canes. Okay. But they're the poles with the blocks on. So, yeah, this and that. And that's what I do most of. I like doing the silks, but like, out of the hoop, there's so much more things you can do on it, and like, you can be more creative on it. I felt very uncreative on there. I felt like all I could do was like, sit and flip. There's so much you can do. Here, I can show you how to like, spin really fast. Here, I can, I can show them. So basically... Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot of fast, fast spinning, Molly. Ooh, I can you'd like, be hear your toe on the ground, like, spinning. Yeah. I think you might be a little ill, but you try it. Yeah, and then you spin, you spin with the front of your feet and like kind of like roll it around a little bit to like until you kind of get the feeling of that you're spinning yourself. Yeah, exactly like that. There you go. Ooh. Clap. And if you keep going with that, you can just keep spinning fast. Jesus. <laughs> wow. You do get dizzy, I will say. That was good. Thank you. I'm a natural contortionist. What is actually, what is this called? Aerial hoop. Aerial hoop. I'm a natural hoopist. <laughs> hoopist. I'm a, I'm a hooper. <laughs> wow, okay. Can no. you kind of just like lean backwards? Wow, so, that is painful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then lean back. And, oh, oh, oh. No, straddle on the other side. <laughs> yeah, on that side. There you go. Spin me! Spin me! <laughs> Hey, mommy, look! You're amazing! I need to sit. I feel like I have the drunk spins. Uh, that was my workout for the day. Wow, great, great now I don't, workout. I don't have to go to the gym. Yeah. That's actually really good, what you did. A lot of people don't do that in the beginning. Why, are they scared? Yeah, they get super scared and then don't even try it. It's quite painful, but I feel like it's like skiing. I just went skiing yeah. again. And I haven't gone skiing in like two years. And my shins, have you ever been yeah. skiing? 
Yeah. Because you like push your shin against the front of your boot when you're turning. So yeah. my shins like the second day were so sore, but then I just, I love skiing. So I just kept skiing. Yeah, exactly. It's like pain you get used to. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too used to it, okay, Molly? No, I, I won't. I promise you, Mommy. Can you go do some fun the bar things? Yes, yeah, they're inside. So we came inside to do these, what are they called? I call them canes. Canes. And poor Gallup is very embarrassed because he just walked in full <laughs> speed to the glass door to go outside. Oh, Sorry. oh he's Wait, leaving. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. But I he did like... get a snack. He got a snack. I don't know how I'm ever going to trust my guide dog again. He walked into a glass door. <laughs> Like, full, he was just like, boom! You know, I've done that a couple of times, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He's well, he did wag his tail afterwards. He, you know, he's a brave guy. All right, can you show us some moves on these? Yeah. Sophie, could you describe to Molly what you're doing, or is that too hard when um, you're... So, basically, I'm doing a one-arm handstand. Oh, dear God. In a split. And Two things I can't do, but you're doing them at once. Now I'm just doing a regular handstand and just bending. Is everybody in your family this flexible? No. No? no. Okay. No. I'm pretty sure I'm the only flexible one in the family. No, I don't think but I'll be able to do any of it. I can try sit on to, it. Trying to think of something. Yeah, actually, try and sit on it. It's comfy. Yeah. Just hanging out. Just hanging this out. is my skill. It's a pretty impressive skill. Thank I you. I think I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> you might be able to do a little bit more. You think, Mom? What do you think I can do? Can you hold yourself... There you go. Can you hold yourself in a straddle? What's that? Okay, so if you were to... Kind of how you're... Here, go on actually this, this side over here. And, okay, if you pull yourself up and then bring those legs on the side of your arms. Nope. Bring them more to your elbows. Like bend them? Here, right. right, I'll show them what I mean. So like this. So you bring them to your elbow and kind of just hold your body weight up. Oh yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Okay, I might help you. So, nope. Like there, and then you gotta bring the other nope. right there. <laughs> I told you, you're overestimating my flexibility. Okay, let me think of something that's not flexible. Actually, here, I'll show you the spin, actually. So you can go up, and basically you put your right thigh on your, your hand. Okay. And then you kind of just rest it there on top of your hand. And then you, from there you can spin and then you put your like feet on the metal bar. Okay. So then you can like spin I feel around like maybe, and kind of feel solid. Maybe I can do this, okay. When you tw go up, twist your hand to the side to put, rest your hand. Under How do your bodies hand. move like that? I don't, I don't know that my body goes that direction. So you have to like twist your hand to the side. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, and then from there. Ow! From there you would let go. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> nope. Okay. That's so much balance. Wow. It's funny, I forget how much balance that is, and I think that's like normally my easiest move. Sometimes Ooh, I forget. Ooh, that hurts. I, yeah, that, 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 that <laughs> hurts. No, 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 no. That's like, like my easiest thing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like sometimes I forget. Just really like, joking. That, 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 that regular that human is, bodies don't do no, that. No, that's just like, that it's hard harder just because I do it so much that it's, it's like, like normal to you yeah it's like normal to me like that's like when people want to do their makeup without a mirror they like can't do it and they're like oh my god this is so hard and I'm like really because I do it every day so like yeah. to me doing my makeup without looking yeah, is exactly. nothing but to other people they're like how do you do that I'm like I just do it yeah I don't know how I'd be able to do that but like for me like I can touch like my foot to my chin like extremely easily and like for me sometimes I like forget that like people can't do that and I'm always like oh right can't do that. Human bodies don't just go like that. Yeah. This is where I can bring mine. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's pretty close Ooh. to my chin. Pretty close. It's pretty close. Actually, that is really close to your chin. <laughs> if I bend over, over it is. <laughs> it's my most sexy pose I've got. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay, so now there's just one cane here. And so you're going to put both hands on this cane. You're going to lift up and like hold, hold on. And then you're going to just so, okay, I can maybe do that. Maybe. So, put your hands, and then you're gonna lift up. Ready? There you go. Oh, God! And then <laughs> you're gonna spin. Why is so much harder than the move? <laughs> wow, the amount of like arm and core strength yeah, that that takes. It's actually, it's a lot more wrist strength than it is arm, weirdly. Do you wanna try it again? Or? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's like I've done enough. I wanna, I wanna see you try to do something blindfolded, though. Oh, 
Yeah. I'm just gonna relax back here while Sophie takes over again. She's gonna try to do some balancing stuff blindfolded. Cause you've only, you said you only ever did, did the bow and arrow blindfold, Yeah, right? I've only done the bow and arrow and like a bell was like ringing by the target so I knew where the target was, but I did, I did. Did like you it. hit it? Did you hit the target? I actually hit it, yeah. I actually did it on America's Got Talent too. And I like spun around and then shot the bow and arrow. It's funny, people didn't notice it, but there was a bell there just so I can like hear. Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, because then I would have been like shot at the audience and that would have been really bad. Really bad. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Whoa, this is weird. I feel like because you have such good balance, you're going to be fine. Oh, this is really weird. Oh my god, I feel dizzy. What the heck? Wow, really? Whoa. Whoa. It's harder to do a one arm. That's weird. Because when I do a one arm, I like spot. Exactly, that's, that's what I was saying to you, because we can't spot. It's like yeah. really hard. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. This one I'm just fine. It's more the handstand one. That's crazy. I wonder what's gonna what it would be like on the on the ring. Yeah. Like, for you. So it was a lot harder? Yeah, it's a lot harder. Like you really have to focus and like getting up I'm like kind of almost like Confused because I'm used to like looking in one direction and spotting. Dang. Yeah, that is a lot harder. I wonder because you said like you don't get dizzy anymore on the ring. Yeah. I wonder if with the blindfold on you would get dizzy. Do you want to try it? Yeah, we want to try it. Let's try it. Okay, <laughs> she's gonna try it blindfolded. Gallop. Gallop. Gallop to your audience Gallop's right now. Gallop's right in the way. Gallop. Gallop, <laughs> dude, you're gonna get kicked. She's blindfolded, babe, like mommy. Oh, I really don't get dizzy. Really? Yeah. Wow! Do you feel like you can like flip upside down and everything with that on and you'll you feel fine? Probably. Oh wait, I'm a little bit dizzy. Now you are when you take it off. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> no, I'm a tiny bit dizzy. That's weird. I never get dizzy. But it's weird. It's almost like you can spin more when it's off. Why don't you flip upside down okay. and do some like fun routine stuff? That's our gala. That's our gala. Oh, he's back at his tail. Yeah, it's our gala. Well, I found it easier. Yeah, it definitely is. It's just muscle memory. Yeah. And you have like that object there to help you. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> now you found a new hobby, blindfolded doing blindfolded. it. Blindfolded. Do you like it better? It's kind of like calmer. I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like yoga. Like yeah. It, well, you can focus in easier, maybe. You yeah. Can focus in on the feeling instead of what you're seeing. Yeah, exactly. What do you think, Gallup? Gallup's tired. He's like pretty interesting. Like, I'm gonna like, take, a I'm take a nap. Take a nap. Is it needed to eat it? Hello. I used to do this all the time. And if I had my straps, then I could do my super warm pose. Oh, I miss suspension yoga. We gotta find us. I know. This one, I can, I, I can do drops. I can show you. Yeah! So, it's kind of like what you did. So, the like, straddle in it like you did, then you'll wrap your legs around. Right, so it's like you're climbing it, and then you... It's a little small, but it's so cool. How'd you think of that, Mom? Incredible! I love it. One drop. It's weird, because this is like, it's like you're at Cirque du Soleil, but in somebody's just backyard. I put my arms through. So you put your arms through. Okay. And then you basically just straddle and go upside down. Oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have the core strength. Okay. Yeah, ready? Here we go. Okay. Okay. So you need to go on your back. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna put your feet through through this. So like, and then you're gonna go up. Yeah, like right there. And then you're gonna like pull up. So up into
Oh, oh dear God. Nope. An arch. Nope. Trust me, you got it. I will hold you. <laughs> no. You got it, Molly. I will hold you. This is the safest drop there is. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> it. Oh my God. That was it. <gasps> that was just the slow version. You're so That's brave. It. Oh my God. <laughs> to self teach yourself all of this stuff and be like, it could go wrong, but I'll just do it. Like, I don't like. Well, that's, you know, you have to have the mindset of just, I know it's gonna go right. And then most of the time it goes right. It's so uncomfortable physically though. Yeah. It's just something <laughs> you get used to though. It's just a lot of like. You keep bullying. saying that, but like, we, we, this is fun. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh my god. I feel like my eyes are like going cuckoo. That was fun. You could really get a spin going. Yeah. Wow. Did I look good, Mom? You did. You looked amazing. Uh, that looks really good. And did I look like a little effortless that. spinning contortionist? Yes, you yes. did. Ariel, oh, you. You became a contortionist today. She's actually spinning really fast. Ooh, okay, I'm done forever. That was it. <laughs> I've had my fill. Oh god. Ooh. Sit down for a minute. Sit, sit right here. Wow, that was an experience. Yes, that was. You know, I've always said that I want to do a video going to circus school, and I feel like this was like kind of it. This was this was it. It was just at a house, a circus house, circus instead house. of a circus yeah. school. Well, thank you for letting me come play on all of your things. Of you are one of the coolest people I know. <laughs> like this is like honestly, because it's not just like you're like, oh, I'm somebody who like has a camera and I make videos like me, you know? You're like, <laughs> you actually have such an extreme unique talent and you're so good at it. And then on top of that, you're self-taught and you're only 18, like you're killing it. Congratulations. Aw, thank you. Check out Sophie. I'm gonna link her Instagram and her YouTube down below if you haven't seen it already. I'm gonna link some of her America's Got Talent routines too, because they're so cool. So all of that below, <laughs> check it out. We also did a video on her channel which is probably up already so check that out thank you for letting me come hang out for the day of course always welcome <sighs> i need a nap after this i know it's it's been, it's been kind of tiring today <laughs> okay Especially bye after the squid <laughs> yeah oh god the squid check it out on her channel that's what yeah oh god <laughs> okay bye <laughs>